Okay, this is a video to show our new tally light system. Um, this is a five channel tally light system and what you're looking at at the moment is the transmitter module. So this is designed to go into the arena or the studio. Um, it's five channels, so it allows you to control five cameras with individual tally. Um, it's a matter of shorting pins two and three together, which activates the tally, or by flicking this switch, it reverses it. So then by, um, by opening pins two and three, will then activate the tally. Uh, runs on 12 volts, uh, has a loop through there, so you can then loop that to something else. Uh, it also has a Cat5 connector, uh, pins one, two, and three. Pins one, two, three, four, five. Shorted to pin eight, which is ground. Pin eight is ground. Um, done. Then does exactly the same as this, but it allows you to then just run one cable back to your control room instead of having to run a, uh, five separate um, XLR cables. So you've got the two options there. It just makes it a little easier and quicker to run um, long lengths. Um, it runs on 433 megahertz, which is a frequency used for things like car alarms and uh, garage door openers. Um, so that's, that's the frequency that's um, dedicated for products like this, um, very small amounts of data. Uh, 1,000 metres range, so uh, in most circumstances I don't think there'll be any problem using um, this on long range events. Um, you could also use a Yagi instead of a whip here, that would also increase that quite substantially. Um, and there won't be any interference from car alarms and, and so forth, and I'll, I'll, get to the, I'll get to why in a sec. So that's the um, that's the trans that's the transmitter. So that uh, then gets received by this product here, which is designed to go onto the camera. Um, so I think probably the best way is just to Velcro. This weighs nothing; it's very light. So just Velcro on the back. Um, that can go on top of the viewfinder, uh, or on top of the sled, or anywhere that um, is is uh, kind of free to place that. Um, has four LEDs, one, two, three red ones, uh, and then we have a clear one, very directional clear LED. And the idea is that is to face that towards your presenter and then uh, in outdoor environments in full sunlight that will still be visible, where these will probably be a little harder to see in an outdoor situation. So that gives you a very bright LED in one direction. Um, in a studio environment, if, if that's too much, uh, just something like a little bit of white gaffer over the front of that would certainly um, calm that down if you find it's too bright. Um, on the back we have um, 12 volt input, um, so it's a four pin uh, high rows, so we have cables that then break that out to either a two pin uh, um, Anton Bauer. Um, that then would plug into our transmitter, because there's an Anton Bauer plug on the back of that. Um, it's a DTAP Anton Bauer. Um, or to a four pin that would plug into the camera, or, or a, a limo that would plug into the sled. Um, antenna to receive the signal. And then also, if you wanted to then have a second tally, we have this product here. This is actually an off-the-shelf device made by Data Video. Um, so we've just allowed it to go into that. So you could have this on the camera, and then this could go down on your monitor. So you, so the cameraman would be looking at this. Um, he sees tally on here, and then this um, would allow the presenter to see it. Or you could actually just put that somewhere which is not in view, underneath the sled, somewhere completely other way, and then put that on top of the camera. It Velcros around the viewfinder, or Velcros on top of something. That would then allow this to be put somewhere out of the way, and then just bring the tally light up to where you need it. So that's the uh, general package there. So five of these um, work with one of these. Uh, underneath this sticker, you can actually take this off and there's dip switches here that select channels one to five. At the moment, I've got this selected to channel one. So we will use this channel here and then that tally light would activate. Um, so you're able to select any one of the five channels under a dip switch situation. Now we also have a, a repeater system. So the idea is this will receive the signal from the transmitter, it will delay it for 100 milliseconds and then retransmit it again. Because this does kind of two jobs. This will allow you to put this like in between two studios or two environments, an indoor outdoor of a, of a stadium. This will receive the signal from the transmitter and then retransmit it into a different area. Um, so that's its main job, is to repeat it to give you further range. The other job is to give you a secondary um, trans, trans, uh, transmit to give you more guarantee that the signal will get through. So if you were to put this on, say, one side of the studio and this on the other side of the studio, 
then the signal is transmitted, it's received, but for whatever reason, if it didn't get received, this would receive it and then retransmit it again 100 milliseconds later, which would then allow a second chance for the receiver to pick up the signal. Of course, if it picked up the signal in the first instance, it just then ignores it. Um, the way the system's programmed is that every time there is a change, it transmits instantly and then it then transmits again one second later as a, as a, as a, as a kind of uh, double, uh, you know, as a chance to get received again, and then it transmits the signal every five seconds unless there is a change and then it transmits again instantly. So uh, there's a lot of redundancy built into this, so in a noisy environment or if there's something else in the channel, there's a lot of uh, chances for the signal to get, um, to get received a second time um, a second later and then every five seconds it will get updated um, with the same signal. So that's the, um, that's the Tailorlight system. Um, uh, it's shipping now. Uh, it's about a three week um, delivery time. Um, and uh, that should allow all the uh, tally issues that aren't able to be done through um, the, uh, the full, full telemetry system. Um, without using a CCU, the full telemetry system, you, you have to modify the RCP to allow you to uh, use, use um, the, the telemetry through the RCP or through, through, the, through the telemetry system. So this gets around that problem. Uh, it obviously also can be used with any system indeed, um, wired or wireless cameras or any branded wireless cameras.